Good morning. Welcome to our service of morning prayer. Hope you had a good day yesterday. Um, as it's Friday, we will continue our usual practice of saying morning prayer and for our intercessions using the litany. And so let us prepare to lay the day ahead before God. Everything that you need is on the screen in front of you. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place. And are acquainted with all my ways, for there is not a word on my tongue. But you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before. And lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. So high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me. And the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth, your, your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned. When as yet there was none of them, how deep are your counsels to me, O God? How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand. And at the end I am still in your presence. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! that the bloodthirsty might depart from me. They speak against you with wicked intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do I not oppose those, O Lord, who oppose you? Do I not abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies also. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any way of wickedness in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as our way. That, trusting in your presence in this world, we may beyond this life still be with you. Where you are alive and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be honest in order to trap him by what he had said so as to hand him over to the jurisdiction and authority of the governor. So they asked him, Teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach and that you show deference to no one, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a denarius. Whose head and whose title does it bear? They said, The Emperor's. And he said to them, Then give to the Emperor the things that are the Emperor's, and God the things that are God's. And they were not able, in the presence of the people, to trap him by what he said. And being amazed by his answer, they became silent. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. So let us pray. God the Father, have mercy upon us. God the Son, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. And we will say sections 2, 3 and 7. From all evil and mischief, from pride, vanity and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred and malice, and from all evil intent, good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, worldliness and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws, good Lord, deliver us. From sins of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From famine and disaster, from violence, murder and dying unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death and at the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By your ministry and word and work, by your mighty acts of power and by your preaching of the kingdom, good Lord, 
deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, and by your precious death and burial, good Lord, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your sending of the Holy Spirit, good Lord, deliver us. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your Holy Word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Almighty and everlasting God, who's by, who, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer, which we offer for all your faithful people, that, in their vocation and ministry, they may serve you in holiness and truth, to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for tuning in for morning prayer this morning. And um, just a couple of announcements. Um, on sun <coughs> excuse me. Um, on Sunday, we will be having a service of matins. And we have a visiting preacher, um, the Reverend Canon uh, uh, Grant Bayliss, who is um, the presenter of Christ Church, and he'll be preaching to us. Um, uh, also, for your diaries, um, we are planning to have our grand reopening uh, on the 26th of July, and I'll be posting some information online um, on the church website, on a church near you, on the village Facebook page, and in um, the Village Link magazine uh, to that effect. Okay, well, have a good day. God bless you. Stay safe. <laughs>